Hi, this is Vida Hassan, and today we are going to simulate our fourth project. And today's project is a, a, an automatic irrigation system with a notification to the user. It's a nice project. Uh, in this project, I've used a couple of devices uh, like Arduino Uno, I had a um, soil moisture sensor. Uh, ultrasonic sensor, a liquid crystal display, GSM module. Uh, in this simulation, I've used a visual terminal device and the two pumps a watering pump and tank pump. In this project, the moisture sensor uh, was used to, to measure the, the soil moisture content. And also, the ultrasonic sensor here. Uh, was used to measure the level of water inside the tank, right? Um, for the liquid crystal display, I've used it to to display the values of uh, moisture content uh, and also the level of water inside the tank in percentage form, but also the status of two pumps, or either on or off for the tank pump and uh and also for the watering pump right okay so let me give you a brief description on how the project works let me run it a little bit brother let me stop it here we go so as you see here as i said the liquid crust to display it's just used to display the tank level, the moisture content, and the water pump status, also the tank pump status. So we have uh, two pumps over here. The tank pump. This pump uh, was used to supply water from the well to the tank. And the label of the tank will be displayed on the liquid crystal display. And also the watering pump. Uh, it's a pump that is used to supply water from the tank to the farm, right? So it will be used to water the plants. And the status for that pump uh, is also indicated on the LCD. As I say, the soil moisture content will be used to measure the moisture content in the soil and that content will be also displayed on the liquid crystal in a percentage form. And also I've used a GSM module. Uh, the GSM module in this project was used to send the text messages to the farmer uh, on the status of the pumps. When the tank pump is on or the watering pump is on, so there will be two messages that will be sent to the farmer. When the pump is on, the text message to the farmer uh, will be sent. Uh, that will say a tank pump is on. So using those messages, the farmer will uh, know how the system is going. Like okay, now the tank level is below the tank pump. Now it's taking water from the well to the tank okay now the watering is going on like that so it will enable him to know exactly what is happening on the farm so this is was my my project now <clears throat> i've written a code here let let us take a look on the code and then i'll be back to run the simulation better let me add some Sorry, I don't see. So the editor configuration, I want to to increase the font to twelve. I think it'll be enough. Okay. This is the code. Uh, the first two lines are just I've just included the library files for a liquid crystal display, but also I've used a software serial library file. This software library uh, software serial library allows me to create uh, different TX and RX pins for the GSM module that I've used. So instead of using pin number zero and one, 
as my transmitter and receiver pin I've just created another pins which is pin number two and pin number three as uh, trans, uh, receiver pin and also transmitter pin I always prefer this way of, uh, uh, of uh, connecting my devices so I don't always use the, the pin number zero and pin number one so I'm always using this uh, software serial to to create another TX and the RX pin okay uh, pin number uh, line number four to number eight is just a definitions uh, for a echo pin is connected to pin number nine trigger pin pin number ten these are the pins uh, for the ultrasonic sensor our tank pump is connected to pin number four watering pump to pin number 13 and a moisture sensor to pin number a0 right so I have also the variables uh, long duration to 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 get the duration uh, of the ultrasonic sensor once I I turn on the trigger pin, right? And also the distance to store the, the readings from the ultrasonic sensor. I have a variable and moisture value that will be used to store the moisture uh, readings. And also I have a distance percent and a moisture percent. These are the variables that will store the percentage value of the uh, distance reading and also uh, the percentage value for a moisture content reading right uh, as you see I've created a, var uh, a an object sim 900 this is be uh, my object that will allow me to send the text messages to the JSON right and also another object LCD in the setup function uh, I've just initialized the two objects LCD and also the same 900 right uh, okay and uh, I've just configured the other pins of the import and the output as you see here just you can just download the project uh, the project simulation file and take a look on the code by yourself if you find any problem inside the code you can just ask me and I'll be there to help you uh, in the low function I was I started by uh, getting the distance measuring the distance of the water level inside the tank so if uh, as, you, as we know to get the readings uh, to make to get the distance using ultrasonic sensor we only need to turn high the trigger pin for some microseconds and then uh, just turn it off and then use the parsing function while echo pin is high to get the distance to get the duration sorry and then uh, just multiply the duration with this constant if uh, we are normally using it as a as a word uh, from the word formula to get this constant so duration times 0.01 saving will be getting the distance the actual distance or level of the water inside the tank so I've used my function to convert the readings to to percentage form right okay and then uh, at the end of the loop I've just called this function here condition function uh, I've created a uh, several functions different messages for different messages to be sent I have this void SMS that's uh, uh, will be uh, that has a watering pump is off message and also I have a SMS one another message uh, SMS two another message and SMS3 another message right and the condition function I've just created a condition using if statement so if the distance percent if the percentage uh, uh, of water inside the tank is above 65 I'll be turning off uh, the tank pump and also if the moisture percentage value is less than 85 I'll be turning own the watering pump this is the main condition if the tank level uh, is above 65 uh, I can say there is a uh, uh, enough amount of water inside the tank so we need to turn off the tank pump so that to stop supplying the water from the well to the tank and if the moisture content is below 85 uh, automatically we are going to to water the plants so if it's above 85% we are going to, to 
to turn the watering pump off and uh, if the the tank level is below 65 percent i'll be turning high the tank pump so that's to to supply the water to the tank those are the two main fun uh, main conditions that i've used and also i have another functions for the lcd to change those status when the tank pump is on uh, i would like to see on standards uh, on either pump if it's a watering pump or a tank pump right now let's see how it works to simulate the ultrasonic sensor i'm just using this uh, potentiometer to change the values of the readings of the uh, ultrasonic sensor and also to to change the readings of this uh, uh, soil moisture sensor I'm also using this uh, uh, potentiometer over here right now the now as we see here in uh, in the LCD the tank level is uh, 86% which is more than 65% so the tank pump will be off now so as you see here the tank pump is off because uh, the tank level is 86 percent but the moisture content is a 63 percent and inside the condition we say that if the moisture content is below 85 percent the watering pump has to be on so now you see here the watering pump is on right and the text messages that are sent to the family that the tank pump is off uh, and that's true the tank pump is off and the watering pump is on uh, and that is true the watering pump is now on now let's reduce, uh, add some contents of moisture in the soil so if we add to that point I would like to see here the moisture content okay now the moisture content is 99% which is above uh, 85 percent right so the watering pump has to go off uh, as you see here the relay has uh, opened and the message that is sent to the farmer is that the watering pump now is off so let's uh, decrease reduce the amount of water inside the tank oh, sorry so use this one minus sign below there okay now the tank level is 43 percent right the and our condition was if the water level is below 65 percent then the tank pump has to go on now the tank pump is on now the water is supplied from the well to the tank and the message that is sent that uh, the tank pump is on that is true and that also the watering pump is off obviously that is true so that's how I simulated this project. So you can just download the project simulation file, copy the code, and get the materials, the components, and build it. Uh, one of you can build one of your own and implement it if you liked it. In the next video, I will add another important feature. I'll try to add a an RTC module, a real-time clock, so that we can choose the working hours of our system maybe we can start watering the plant the plants at 80 a.m and 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 then again we're going to water the plant at uh, maybe 17 p.m right so at those hours we are going to measure the content of the soil because uh, the reality is if the soil moisture at maybe at 14 p.m of course the soil may be dry right and the soil moisture will detect that and uh, we are going to water the plants so it will be uh, unlogical because we are going to kill those plants if we water them at uh, uh, right at noon right so we are going to use RTC module to to operate our system maybe from 80 a.m. to 90 a.m. and then choose another working hours maybe from 17 p.m. to 18 p.m. right 
So thank you for watching this video. Just subscribe to my channel for more project simulations. Uh, so in the next project uh, simulation, I will add that feature to this project and also provide, I'll give you another video on uh, a home security system. It's a very, very nice system. I'm sure that you're going to like it. It's a little bit different from other systems. It, 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 it has some uh, more and more features added to it. Thank you guys. Just like the video. Just keep subscribing to my channel for more project simulations. Thank you.